Hey, this is Paul Salt from Brew Coffee, and I wanna just give you a quick tip if you're dealing with calcium buildup. So in here, you can see that I've got a bunch of calcium around the edges. It's starting to flake off, and it's going into my water in my tea kettle. Um, so that's not great. And then I've got the same type of buildup happening on my Hario kettle. This I just use for pouring the tea kettle I use for actually heating up the water. And we can see that it's also building up on on this. So what I'm gonna show you is how you can clean that using some water, some vinegar, I've got a paper towel. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some water into, sorry, some vinegar into here, as well as over here. And we're gonna dilute that a little bit with some normal water. And then we're just gonna heat this up and let it simmer. So I'll just start with that. The other thing I have is a little bowl here for doing some spot cleaning and this I'll probably I'll probably take this off and you'll just dip a paper towel and just start rubbing to get rid of that calcium buildup. So this will get it so it's back to shininess. Um, letting this simmer a little bit might help a little bit on just heating up the stuff but you can see that that's cleaning it off and then you can wipe down if you have a thermometer and just sort of wipe that down and it will clear off and it will look nice and clean. Just have some water in there so it can simmer. Bring this back up, and that's it. And we'll we'll come back and see how how this looks in a little bit. Hey, I'm back, and we are making this pretty sparkly. It's been about 40 minutes, and you can see that this looks absolutely brand new on the inside with that vinegar water. It's it's super clear. So that looks brand new. Now there is and was a little bit of buildup towards the spout. And so what I'm doing to sort of help with that is I'm just pouring water, pouring this vinegar water between the two teapots just to get uh, a little bit more into that. The other thing you could do is you could fill this up more and it's going to get rid of the calcium deposit in the gooseneck here. Now, the other thing that we're gonna look at is I took this, and so this is a little bit of a vinegar water solution. And you can see just by letting this sit with the, the bottom edge down, it is now super nice. And just wiping that off is going to get rid of any of the extra residue. So that's looking great. I didn't want to fully submerge the plastic part. I wasn't sure how reactive the vinegar would be on that. So I'm trying to keep that above the surface and that's clean that up. Our thermometer looks fantastic. All right, so yesterday we were cleaning this and you can see now the interior, we've gotten rid of all of the calcium. It's no longer flaking into my, my teapot. It's no longer flaking into the water that I'm using. And so all I did was I just let it sit a little bit longer and then cleaned it at the end of the day. So it sat probably for 12 hours and it was totally sparkly clean when I got back to it. If you like this video, Click the like button and then subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.